Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so check this out. All right, so David Benavides uh, did an interview with uh, Aki TV, and he basically said that Oscar Valdez needs to fight Shakur Stevenson. That's the best fight that can be made at that weight class, and I agree wholeheartedly. It's time to make this fight. At the end of the day, if the promotional companies, the net TV networks, and the fighters themselves want to save boxing to bring boxing back to his his glory days of the 70s the 80s and the early 90s well they need to start making these fights they need to start making the best fights out there you make the best fights then people gonna spend their money people gonna support them people gonna come and see them. like i said i agree with that 100 percent and it's time to make make these fights because i'm at the point i'm just gonna say this people could take it however they want Somebody think I'm taking a jab at they, they, whoops. Well, I'll say a boxing jab. You know, not the other, not the other jab that everybody been talking about. So if people think that I'm taking, you know what I'm saying? You know, taking a, 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 a cheap one at they, uh, favorite fighter, Dan, so be it. Actually, do I give a fuck? And I'm just gonna say this, and I want to be as transparent and provide as much clarity as possible. When you get fighters talking about somebody is with another promotional company, and that's why they ain't gonna fight them, and you, I'm just gonna be honest with you, it, it, it's cowardly, it's gutless, and it's weak. And it just need to, it just need to be said. You hollering about the wrong side of the street. You hollering about, oh, he with this dude. He need to leave this dude before we can make a fight. And it, it's just it's just chicken shit. At the end of the day, your job is to make a fight. Not worried about who the dude's uh, promoter is. Because to be honest with you, that ain't got nothing to do with you. So when I hear people talk this shit about, yeah, I'm a boss. I'm a boss and man, you 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 ain't no boss. I'm gonna tell you something straight up about these these uh lying ass uh PBC fighters that be talking about oh I, I I oh this dude got a boss, he answered to this dude, he answered to that dude. Don't nobody make no move unless it's approved by you know who. That's fact. I know that to be fact. So when these dudes be talking all this, oh he he with this dude, he with that dude. And he need to come over here and all that stuff, man, that's cap. Them dudes all got somebody that they answer to with, with the PBC. So stop, you know what I'm saying? Stop listening to the bullshit. But yeah, I have to say this, man, because I'm just kind of tired of hearing this. This thing grown tired. It's just time to make these fights, man. It's time to stop stalling and make these damn fights. Like I said, stop worrying about what promotional company somebody with and all that type of shit. Because that don't got nothing to do with you. Make the damn fight. Get your ass in the ring. Sign the contract. People, all, man, a lot of these fighters be capping. That's why I respect the dudes like Lennox Lewis and those type of dudes. They wanted to fight any and everybody. Lennox Lewis wanted all the smoke. Lennox Lewis was willing to fight anybody. When did you ever hear Lennox Lewis talk about, well, I don't want to fight him because he with this promoter. When did you ever hear Evander Holyfield talking like that? All that stuff started within the last, you know what I'm saying, and particularly within the last seven to eight years. You heard people talking that, that, that game goofy talk. Because that's just what it is. It's lame. It's lame game. Now all of this, man, I'm just, I'm just saying, man. This just need to be, need to be said. I told you, man. I'm not worried about people being mad at me. I'm not worried about people. You know what I'm saying? Having an issue with me. Y'all, your favorite fighter ain't no boss, man. It's cap. It's a facade. It's phony. When these dudes be talking about, oh, I ain't got no boss. Like I said, you can't do shit on the PBC side unless you know who signed off on it. So just stop lying and stop fronting. And stop talking that fake shit when you do interviews. Because like I said before, 
I ain't got no horse in the race and I'm not finna sit up here and be talking that, talking that fake stuff. I'm not finna be no clickbaiter like some of these other dudes on here. That ain't my thing. And I'm not finna be negotiating on behalf of a fighter and I ain't on their payroll. And I'm not finna be telling fighters how much they should take to fight another dude. That's fanboyism. That's being a fanager. So I'm just keeping it a buck. Some of y'all ain't gonna like what I have to say or like this video, but that's too damn bad. People were sorry about they was unsubscribed because I wasn't following the script. I told y'all I don't follow no scripts. And I don't say what other people want me to say. And I wanna make this very clear. I could get, and, I, and I, I'm gonna make this very clear to where people can understand where I'm coming from. I could give two fucks about somebody not liking me because I won't suck up to their favorite fighter. That may, that may happen to be from the same place they from. So I, I don't care. That's real. I'm not worried about none of that stuff. But like I said, it's a lot of fake energy out there. Cause like I said, a lot of these dudes, like, like I said, it's uh, faker than a, a $6 bill. And we know that they don't exist. So I'm just putting that out there. Anyway, thank you for listening. It's your boy Town Biz. I am out.